you are doing well thank you so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel i will kindly ask just to press the subscribe button below it's absolutely free and you are absolutely welcome to my wonderful amazing crazy roller coaster of a channel that i have going on here so just subscribe and join the family hope you guys enjoy this video that i'm about to get into so today i'll be doing a what's in my bag video i've never done this before i want to share the details of the bag that i've been carrying for a while so i thought what's the best way to do it and I figured a what's in my bag so you guys can kind of see what's in my bag, what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is the beautiful bag that I've been carrying for a while now. It is a Teddy Blake handbag. It's called the KT Classic Handbag and it's in the dark beige. So it's kind of like a nude colour. This is the Stampato 14 inch. So it is the bigger size. They do have a smaller size of this on their website, but this is the biggest size. It's a classic handbag. It does come with a long strap that you can use to carry over your shoulder, but I haven't used that just yet because I do like to carry it with the shorter handle because I just feel like it's, it just feels better. Teddy Blake bags are, are made by a company called Booty. And I know a lot of you might be thinking they look very, very similar to the Hermes Birkin bag, but actually Booty have been manufacturing this bag since 1958, whereas Hermes and the Birkin bags have been in production since 1984. So when you think about it, these bags have been around way longer than the Birkin bags have. Every single Teddy Blake bag, including this one, is made out of 100% Italian leather and suede. So you know you're getting great, great quality. I have known of Italian leather for a very, very long time now, like since I was a young girl. My mum always used to go with her sister to Italy to buy bags and shoes, all made out of Italian leather. She's had them for a long time since way before I was born and times that I can remember my mum has had some shoes and some bags that she has bought overseas especially in Italy and she's just coveted them because they last so long and they're of great quality just like this handbag the leather is a pebbled leather so there's a lot of texture it's got the silver hardware detailing here there it's also got a lock and key that's also made out of the same silver hardware i've used this bag for about three months now non-stop and it's kind of my everyday bag it goes with everything the color's amazing the style is also very very chic so in this handbag you've got another compartment in here this is a zip compartment that has the teddy blake logo embossed onto a leather tab just there and also on the other side of it you also have another pocket as well here where you can just slip things like your oyster card your ID card so you can get them out easily. I'm going to show you guys what's in this bag of mine and what I carry around pretty much every day. It's not so heavy because I don't like to carry around too many things. I'm just going to go through them one by one. I'm going to pick them out as I go along. First of all is my purse. I don't have your traditional purse where you open it up and there's bank cards on one side and all this. No, I don't like carrying around purses like that. I'm kind of different when it comes to that. I've just got like a zip pouch type of thing and you open it up. I have some hay fever tablets because I'll know. I have all my cards, bank cards, ID cards, and all stuff like that. And then in this small pouch inside the purse, I've also got some coins just in that little pouch there. And I got this from ASOS. I haven't found a purse that I like. That's why I'm still using this. So when I find the one that I really, really like, I will get it. But for now, I, I enjoy using this. It does what it needs to do at the end of the day. It stores my cards, my money, and all that kind of stuff. In here, I have my iPod. I still use a classic iPod because I love classic things. Um, I have an iPhone as well, and obviously that has an iPod function within it, but I don't like to mix my phone with my music because I have a hell of a lot of music on this, and I have a hell of a lot on my phone as it is. Hell of a lot of music and then a lot of stuff on my phone, my device will literally just crash. So I like to keep these two separate. I don't think they sell it anymore. It's just one of those things that's really dear to me. Like I've always had one of these and I just enjoy using them. I feel like for music serves its purpose. I don't need to put pictures, I don't need to put videos. I love that it just has music on there. Here is my Oyster card. If you live in London, you'd know what this is. This is my Oyster card, it gets me all around TFL. I have in here my keys. These picture key rings I've had made on Asda. Asda have like a website where you can do like key rings for like £2.50. You can put any pictures on them. I've got a picture of Coco here and another one of Kurode when he was a baby. Got me and Coco here and then me and my godson on this side as well. I need to make more because I need to put my nephew on my keys like he needs to come everywhere with me in here is my vlogging camera you guys ask me all the time what camera do i use to vlog i use a canon g7x to vlog i've had this for mm, close to if not a year close to a year now and i absolutely love it i've had several cameras in my day 
and this is definitely one that I say is amazing. The only thing that I don't like about it is that the battery doesn't last very long. If, like me, you like to vlog all the time, and you always have your camera on you, as you never know what's gonna happen, and this is not gonna last you very long. That's why I have taken the liberty to buy an extra battery, make sure that my, both my batteries are always charged, and if anything, carry my charger around if need be. You can see yourself on this here. Obviously, that also comes down. So you don't have to leave it up all day. All the buttons are on this side here. Very, very small panel with buttons. The functionality of it is also at the top here where you can switch functions or operations of the camera. It's got where you put the battery and the memory card at the bottom there. And of course you have to, and of course if you are a YouTuber like myself and you do vlogs, this always has to be in your bag because you never know what's gonna happen. You never know what you're gonna stumble upon on your daily, daily days. So I always keep this in my bag. Here I've got some Carmex, but no, I never go anywhere without this. I remember when I went on holiday recently and my friend was like, do you take that everywhere you go? And I was like, yeah. Do you take your phone everywhere you go? This is just as vital as my phone. Can't walk around with dry lips, come on now. In here, also have my earphones. These are my earphones for my, my phone. They always get tangled up, which really annoys me. And I'm very careful with my earphones, but no matter what I do, they always get tangled up. So these are my earphones for my phone. In here, I've got two pair of sunglasses. I've got these from La Moda. It's become quite warm in London now, so I keep sunglasses in my bag. These because they go with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. And obviously when I go out, I'm gonna want sunglasses that go with my outfit. So these black ones, because you can never go wrong with a pair of black sunglasses. These ones actually remain in my bag. And I got these from Le Specs from Fee. So I'm gonna put the details of that in the description box as well. So these are just a pair of plain black sunglasses. You can't really go wrong with sunglasses like these, to be honest. I've also got in here a pen. I think it's very important to have a pen in your bag. You never know when you're gonna need a pen. You don't be one of those people who's like, do you have a pen? Sorry, Jesus, sorry, have you got a pen, please? You don't wanna be one of those people, so I always keep a pen in my bag. I've got in here a pocket mirror. I think I got this from Primark. I don't remember your standard pocket mirror. I've got a travel size perfume, diffuser, bottle thing. It's refillable, so you just pop the spray top off your perfume and you put it onto the little white plastic tube and you just pump, pump, pump and the perfume comes into this. And obviously when you're out and about, you, you can refresh yourself. I've got, for some reason, <laughs> I've got two combs for those days whereby you just need to sort your hair out, I guess. That is actually it. And that is all the contents of my bag. Not very much and not all that interesting, I don't think. And going back to the bag again, it's got this detailing on the side here where you can pour and make it a lot more sturdy and firm. But obviously if you like to carry bags that look a bit looser and a bit slumpier, then you have that option there, obviously it opens up and it makes the bag a lot wider and a lot bigger, which means it can fit a lot more, which means it's great for traveling. And I use this when I went to India last. Also at the bottom here, I've got these little stumps so that the bag itself doesn't actually touch the floor. The only thing I will say that I don't like about this bag so far, it has now become a bit slack and a bit slouchy. So every time I get home, I need to stuff it with some paper just to make sure that it doesn't completely slouch and start to give in on me. Besides that, the structure of it is amazing. It's wonderful. The stitching also is very, very nice and neatly done. Very, very strong and very, very sturdy. And I have so loved using it. From the exterior leather to the interior suede, I really, really love it. The inside is so soft and the suede is so luxurious. Can't wait to get my hands like on a second handbag by Teddy Blake. And if you are also a fan of this bag, check out their website. They have loads of different styles, loads of different colors and sizes as well. If you're interested in one of these bags, just have a look at the description box. I've got all the details in there for you guys and anything that I may have missed out in this video. I have a discount code for you guys in the description box on the Teddy Blake website. They have so many different colors, different styles of this bag as well, and different sizes. And there's something for everybody, I believe, on that website. I've also got all their social media and everything else that you might want to check out. How you can style the bag as well. You can head over to their Instagram and see how different people have styled it. That always helps. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will be sure to be back again with another video. If you would love to leave a comment, let me know what you guys think in the description box and I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check out the description box for that discount code so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.